FM Election Watch. Central South Africa goes to the polls. And we also use the two days, a special those two days as a precursor to, to this day. And what we can say is that uh, generally everything went well. We didn't experience uh, a lot of challenges. Yes, we had a problem in Shalain. There's a village in the, at uh, Komoto, in the policing area of Komoto actually, where we had a problem. Like for example, yesterday in the morning, we found that the gate was actually welded, so um, as a result, there was no access into the voting station. But we managed to attend to that particular matter. But fortunately, uh, there were also no applications for special votes for that particular poly, uh, voting station. But actually, we attended to the matter to make sure that at least today, the station is accessible. As I'm talking to you, the station is accessible, people are, are voting. Although we have a group of people, approximately 50 people that are also gathered, not far from the station, but we are also attending to that particular uh, uh, matter. We also had an incident in, in Kudumu where there was a fight apparently between members of two political parties. The, the case has been opened, it will be placed before the prosecution. Uh, in Ikaheng we also had uh, um, a situation whereby uh, a poster was uh, allegedly removed or defaced of a political party, but um, a case has been opened also in that regard. The docket will be before the court on, on Thursday. The suspect has been actually been charged. So generally, we had a, a, a peaceful uh, two days. Yeah. Unfortunately, this morning when we woke up, or when we got here, we got the report that the Inbiti Kong, a tent that was pitched up late yesterday, that the, the IC tent has also been stolen, but the case has been opened to that effect. It's just still under investigation, but also uh, temporary measures are also being put into place to make sure that at the end of the day, the voting continues. So, yes. so, so how many people have been arrested so far? Um, those that we can confirm for now is actually four. That is the one of uh, Ikaheng. And then we have also arrested uh, three people in Huruzi yesterday. There's a voting station called Bushuha uh, Kobo Primary School, where a number of people went to the voting station and they blocked the entrance. They apparently demanded that uh, the presiding officer be removed, but on something that is not actually election related. But the fact that they contravened Section 21 of the Electoral Act, so we had to take action. So they have also been arrested. So I can, for now, I can confirm. Four, but possibilities that uh, one of them uh, can also that person can also be charged. Is there an update for us this morning from the um, police? Up to so far, everything went well. The escorting uh, went well. Uh, almost all the stations are open. The only thing that we want to, um, to 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 talk about with our community is that please they must go to the polling stations on time. We must, they must actually avoid a situation whereby they go to the posting stations at 8 o'clock, an hour before. Because we are also trying to mitigate the risks that are also associated with elections. Remember, some of the polls are also using uh, various modes of transport. So it is important that they go to the polling stations on time so that they also vote on time and then go back to their homes on time. And we, I think we must also emphasize the fact that we indicated on Monday when we, 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 we briefed the media that normal policing continues, meaning that although we are voting, we still have members at the police stations and then we still deal with the crime uh, prevention, we still do deal with the crime combating. But we also want to emphasize the fact that the various legislations are also still uh, are still applicable. For example, uh, a Firearms Control Act, it is still applicable. We don't expect people to carry their firearms to the voting station. They must keep their firearms at home and safely so. The, the issue of the liquor, it's a public holiday. And we also don't expect people to go to the voting stations while drunk. So we are still also still make sure that we enforce those laws. But like I, say, I said earlier, people must actually go make sure that they get to the voting stations on time so that we also mitigate uh, um, uh, uh, risks that are also associated with uh, uh, the elections. Have you deployed more police on these uh, voting stations where these incidents took place? We have remembered before this uh, 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 process or the voting or the special vote, uh, even today, we did an uh, assessment of all our polling stations. Uh, the incidents themselves did not actually warrant that maybe we change the risks that were, that were actually done. So we had already posted uh, members uh, even before this incident. So we, but we still continue to monitor this particular uh, voting station because 
uh, we can't uh, 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 allow anybody to disrupt the elections. But uh, we want to assure our members of the community that we have put measures in place. Then we hope that everything will go to according to uh, to the plan to make sure that at the end of the day, uh, IEC uh, has a conducive environment to deliver uh, uh, free and fair, free, fair and credible uh, elections. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. OFM Election Watch. Follow hashtag OFM Election Watch.